My name is Africa Flores. I'm a research scientist at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. I'm originally from Guatemala, but I'm also a, a NAGEO explorer with NAGEO and Microsoft. We are working on a project in Lake Atitlan. Lake Atitlan is a hotspot of cultural heritage and biodiversity for Guatemala. It is the second most visited site in the country and recently it has been suffering from algae blooms. The largest one cover about 40% of the lake and affected tourism greatly. There are a number of towns around this lake. About 40% of these towns are using the water directly from the lake without treatment. Cyanobacteria have the potential to produce toxins. So if the water is being used for human consumption, that definitely has an impact on human health. The algae blooms mean that you have massive presence of one species, one or two species, and this is covering the surface of the lake, so it's affecting the whole ecosystem because it's preventing sunlight to come in to the water and that affects the, the rest of the life there. It's a beautiful lake. It's very well known because of the transparency of the water. In the 70s, the transparency of the water used to be like 20 meters. Imagine that, that is like 10 floors of transparency. Uh, it's a very deep lake in the deepest point is 300 meters. It's an enclosed system. Everything that happens in that basin ends up in the lake. And so every time that it rains, a lot of soil gets transported to the lake and this carries nutrients. At the end of the rainy season, we have less cloud cover, so we have more solar radiation. And then the cyanobacteria is spread already throughout the lake and it has enough nutrients. And then we see an algae bloom. My background is on remote sensing and geospatial technology so we are using all these data satellite data model derived data weather data to identify when algal blooms are going to happen in this lake we are using the artificial intelligence component specifically machine learning to analyze this large amount of information to eventually train an algorithm that is going to be able to identify and then forecast uh, algae blooms. In the past, it took me hours, days, and months to process a year worth of data, not to mention uh, 10, 20 years of information. And now we can process hundreds of data sets, thousands of data sets for 30 years uh, historical and, and have results for that in, the, in a matter of uh, hours or minutes, seconds. Our goal is to replicate this uh, in other lakes. Harmful algae blooms is not an issue unique to Guatemala or to Lake Atitlan. This is happening worldwide. And I think that through this pilot project in Guatemala, we are going to learn a lot and expect to expand it to the rest of Central America, Latin America, and hopefully be a, a global application.